excited to announce the Artificial Blonde Madison Cunningham Signature Pedal. Madison, thanks for being here. Thanks for jamming. There are other demo videos of this pedal. We actually already... <laughs> we have actually already recorded a demo of sorts mm -hmm. with Sweetwater. Go watch that video. And there's other videos. The links are in the description below. Basically though, we just want to jam. That's okay. why you're here. And we should tell people how this happened. So why does this exist in your simple words? Reveal it. <laughs> Nice, I like what you did there. I had heard of you guys uh, some odd years ago via Tyler Chester, and the Emperor pedal was one that I kept on all the time for my for my sound. It kind of happened accidentally, and then it just became a, a part of it, and you mentioned wanting to make a signature pedal, and we went down the line of what that would be, and I, you finally were like, what if we just did a modified version, a customized version of, yeah. of the Emperor and your settings? And so we just, we fine tuned that for a couple months, we got it right, and this is the thing you see before you now. prototype that I think you toured with for a year? Not quite a, a year. year. I love this knob that's bent <laughs> and broken off. Thank you, TSA. Um, Tom here, who is amazing, he runs our printing department. Tom York? T Tom York runs our printing department. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason there's not a Radiohead record. <laughs> this is like spray painted prototype uh, circuit. You've even lost one of the like yeah, it worked. A disaster. This is the Maddie C Rev 1.0, and it's really cool because it has toured. We had some experiences like this, and they're always fun. When we did the original color box, Spoon toured with the Proto, wow. and we had I think Jeff Tweedy had one as well. It's so fun to see, like, like just hold that. It's like you're holding. It's been responsible for a lot yeah, of it's cool. a lot of sound. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I love the EQ setting. Obviously, I'll, I'll go to yeah. the amp first and set my ideal tone settings, but it's just really nice to be able to bend down and yeah. switch. You have the EQ, which is like a master EQ, and it's a tilt control, so it applies to both speed settings, mm -hmm. and you can have a little bit of boost if you want it. Yeah. I'm proud of this one. I almost don't ever want to get rid of it, and also, a lot of people were like, what does blonde mean? What does the name mean? Artificial blonde was just a name that I came up with one time and yeah. during a writing exercise and I thought it was really funny. And so I immediately went and I was trying to see if ASCAP had that name still. Okay. And they did. So once I pinned Took, it down. Pinned it down, yeah. That's one of your songs. <laughs> once I pinned it down, I I got it for my LLC and now I own it. I'm also, yeah. I have I don't dye my hair, so I thought that was also funny. In my entire career of doing this, I've never seen anyone with a effect that has never turned off. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could say like Robert Smith of The Cure has a chorus pedal on. What about Mac DeMarco then? Mac DeMarco, but it changes, it feels different. You yeah. have this base, like this basic foundational sound, which is really cool, it happened to be the Emperor. We shipped those over to Tyler. You were tracking your record and it just never got turned off and it's this subtle vibrato mm -hmm. setting. And then you just kept using it live. Every time I would come see you live, it's on all the time. And then you track another record, you're using the similar sounds. And I remember seeing you at a show and you had to bend down and speed one of the settings up. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, Duh, we need to fix this. Like, well, I would this, sharpie yeah. the settings. Like yeah. I would be like, okay, this is the fast one. I'll, I'll yeah. mark it here. On and off. We're only putting that on here for you, the customer, because she never turns it off. And then when you hit this, you go between two settings, which are two independently set. You can think of them like manual presets. There's a speed and a depth for mm -hmm. A and B. So you set those and you have a fast and a slow speed and that's it. And it is stereo. We've never, I've never done a stereo pedal. I always play mono. 
I do enjoy stereo every once in a while. I saw you on Jimmy Kimmel and you had it going between two amps that looked like. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. stereo basically just gives it that yeah, you're, sound. This, this vibrato, so it's a pitch modulation and it has no amount of clean signal. So if you take pitch vibrato and add clean, you get chorus. That's that like syrupy Brian Adams sound, right? Yeah. Or The Cure. Yeah. This is just the pitch movement. So it's like the warbly broken record C6 sound and you use it really subtle. So when you plug in stereo, it actually will move it through the amps. It and pans it, sort and of. And it's like 3D. It, it's a really beautiful sound. And in headphones, it's incredible. And you hear it on records and stuff all the time, so. I also love the color and the yeah. the icon. This is your head chopped off. Yeah, we, we that did that just for, we, we chopped my head off for mm -hmm. the, the photo shoot. Plastic surgery is amazing these days. I, yeah, you're from LA and these LA doctors, they put you, <laughs> they put you right back together. It's amazing. Maddie, take us through like, just the clean sound that the always on sound. Well, yeah. first of all, this is this is what it sounds like without it. This is just direct. Um, and this is the sound that stays on throughout the whole show. It's really subtle. I usually keep it almost to a level that's just slightly unnoticeable. You would only notice it if, you know, a note was kind of ringing out or hanging there, you know? Yeah, like you said, it just, it just adds this sort of dimension. And I noticed too, live, it's really guitar, drums, bass, keys. Yeah. And it does something in that mix. It just makes your guitar bigger. What's so great about this sort of knob that that allows me to switch between mm -hmm. both settings is in the middle of a song, I can suddenly be like, I've been kind of writing this sound for a while, and then I can... It's almost Leslie-like. I usually actually, to be honest with you, I'll have the speed. The I'd prefer speed. you be honest. <laughs> That's the more intense, noticeable one. Yeah. What's one of your riffs from one of your songs that uses the faster speed? The, the best example I can think of is like, I'm kind of riding along on this thing. It's actually an unreleased song. Oh, you saw it here first. And then when it gets to the bridge, I change it to this thing. You know what I mean? It just immediately cool. gives it this like, oh, now we've switched scenes kind of. Let's jam on the faster setting and get Nick back over here. Nick, where are you at, bro? I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, come do your job. Okay. You don't have to say it like that. Just come sit down. Oh, fine. Obey. Come on, Nick. Come sit down. Sit. 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 I'm wearing a different shirt. Hey, this is um, Madison Cunningham's shirt from her new tour. Check it out.
make a guitar really good for a girl. You are my favorite male pedal manufacturer. I was going to wow. say that. So much mutual respect in this room. <laughs> I just really So res much yeah. mutual respect. A lot of respect. Ooh. Ooh. Everything's fine! <laughs> Out of all the signature pedals I've done, I've done quite a few, this is the most signature. You never turn it off. Go listen to Maddie. There's a song called Beauty in the Cliché. Yeah. Cliches? And, and two cliches, yeah. Go listen to that song and you hear the sound, which is, I'll just point out, she tunes the guitar way down, standard tuning down to C, and it's flat wounds. So you hear this similar sound, but it's missing the movement. Yeah. And then you hear the first record go to a song like Pin It Down, and suddenly yeah. it's like that signature. It's the most signature sound I've ever heard of anything we've ever made for an artist. So that's cool. Because a drive pedal, they're signature, but they could use any drive, you know, drive pedals yeah. are drive pedals. Don't tell anybody I said that. Especially the artists whom I've made drive pedals with. Sick burn to drive pedals everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and all the other artist pedals we've done. <laughs> Sick burn! Sorry, Andy. It's fine. Sorry, Paul. All right, one more jam. We need to go somewhere that, that like, your deepest inner trauma. Can we, like, jam with, like, the darkest part of your soul? Like, can you create a riff? Oh, Super Bowl turned on. Oh man, I'm really excited. Nick, come on. Nick. You gotta stop. Nick. <laughs> Nick, where is Nick? Do I have to do everything? All right, come on, man. It's just that it makes me feel come small. On. Come sit down. Let's, do oh, I, I play good. Do, hey, Madison, do I play drums good for a boy? You're my favorite male drummer, for wow. sure. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's saying a lot. Well, thanks. My favorite boy drummer. I play bass pretty good for a guy. We'll see about that. your record for record time this is called illinois by sufjan stevens it actually might be called come on and feel it's Illinois. really good it is so good and i love all 23 songs there's 23 and there's a b-side record that i like more i love this the b-side is called avalanche and it's like another 10 or 12 songs are you serious yeah i didn't know that but i'm really excited about what that means for me now but um yeah, this, this record was kind of, I heard it in late 2019 for the first time and early 2020 or something. And I was touring a lot and that was always in my ears. You, I, you can always tell by what I really love, by what is downloaded on, on my travel playlist. Mm -hmm. And this was on it. It was so imaginative and 
beautiful and every single musical choice I felt like just completely like cast the perfect light on what he was saying. And I've never heard anyone write that boldly. Like, I mean, it's- John Wayne Gacy is crazy. It's insane. Yeah, it's one it's of the crazy. most insane songs I've heard in my whole life. Mm -hmm. And it's deeply troubling, but that's exactly what it's supposed to do. It's like, he, he's, a, he's a master. He knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And so this record, I looked to it for my new record revealer for its like its its lack of shame, and how how willingly like the veil between himself and his emotions and his songs was so translucent. I wanted it to. Anytime I felt lost, I would return to this record. That's really cool. To yeah. measure it against. That. I've jumped back into that rabbit hole of listening to all of his records. It's, it's really magical. Cool. What's your record? My record is Revealer by Madison Cunningham. That was a nice segue. Yeah. This is unopened because it's a promotional copy. And Not I'm just gonna leave it in the in the seal. Do you do that to your own records? No. That's cool. No. Whatever. My favorite tracks. This is weird doing this with the artist. I've done it a couple times. Life According to Rachel is one of the best songs I've ever heard. Wow. It is, right? It's amazing. Like Yes, everyone in the room's like, yes. It's Thank you. unbelievably, yeah. I want to say more stuff, but you'll be like, you're lying. It's like really good. Almost, I was just going to say it's like Paul McCartney good. Like, on, I'm serious. You like, are it lying. Yeah, it is. It is. It is really good. It's a beautiful song. And when I'm listening to it and you know the context of what it's about, it's like deeply moving. My daughter, who's 13, it's like, she keeps listening to it and it's actually had like the effect of what the song is about has like given her thoughts about her life it's like a deeply moving song all right oh now Lord. to get off of that heavy subject don't make me um, cry sunshine over the counter is like my favorite i'll say normal song because the rachel song is just unbelievable and i'd heard it before this you had released it as a single uh-huh yeah right. so sunshine over the counter is so fun it's incredible. The whole record's great. And I think Nick said it best. We were driving back across Kansas. We were playing it. And this record is constantly surprising. And that's so rare in music where you feel like you know what's coming with most records. This is constantly surprising. That's very good. The best compliment anyone's ever given me. I just feel like music's bringing people together. I didn't know it was that powerful, music. No. Usually you don't see women doing anything in music. Yeah, it's it is uh yeah. it's embarrassing. Especially with to guitar. See them do it. I haven't seen a like a female play guitar well ever. Sometimes friends make jokes with each other. And we're all friends here. And what what's great about being friends is that we can say silly things. Because everybody actually knows that girl guitar players can do whatever they want and sometimes better than boy guitar players. If you're feeling uncomfortable, don't, cause we are all friends. And none of us are uncomfortable. And none yeah. of us are uncomfortable. We're, we're just making funnies about that <laughs> subject that frustrates us all. Don't, right? yeah. Yeah. Cause it's actually, <laughs> the people who are watching, it's actually your guys' fault. Yeah. Cause yeah. at the end of the day, when you think about it, when you think about it, we got a lot of comments about how it's like, girls can't play guitar, whatever. And it's like, that's that's dumb. Cause you had a mom and she birthed you. And if ladies can birth babies, they can shred guitar. And so you need to go call your mom and tell her you're sorry for being a real turd. Whew, is this gonna make it in the episode? Ha. <sighs> I was just following my heart anyway. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Also click the subscribe button and there is a bell icon. You can click that. And until the end of time when the world explodes, you will get notifications of all of our episodes. Go check out the Artificial Blonde. I'm very, very proud of it. It's a very special and um, unique pedal. I think you'll really enjoy it. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. And there are other demos. You should check those out as well. We'll link those in the description. That's it. Have a wonderful day. Check out Madison's music on Spotify, Apple, Vinyl, Radio, Satellite, uh, Sirius XM, uh, Napster, LimeWire, Music, Music, Indigo. What's that? What's it called? Uh, SoundCloud. Really good. SoundClouds. Um, 
AOL music player <laughs> and uh, TV TV she's on she has been on TV and there's also you could listen to Madison's music um, like at a red light with someone else playing it like through their car like you could pick up on it so if, if you hear that just listen to her music that way um, I feel like I'm missing like a way to listen to music in the comments let me know what I could listen to Madison's music on that I didn't think of it's the longest outro in the history of the show bye have a great life <laughs>